Hey everyone, it's Mike and Raven, and we're about to play the first mission from the Sentinel Strike expansion for Marvel Zombies. Yeah, we got them all painted up now. So cool. Ready? It's called Sentinel Onslaught. The zombies are bad enough to deal with, but now we have to contend with Sentinels coming for us as well. And these aren't just any ordinary Mark II's. That would be too easy. They have been reinforced with nano machines, which make them practically indestructible. To make matters worse, our sensors are picking up something else coming our way. So the objectives are, and we accomplish these objectives in order, eliminate all three sentinels, see special rules, and eliminate the prime sentinel, see special rules. So we'll get to that in a sec. Uh, the special setup, place sentinel A on the first spawn point. Okay, so we have that one there. And draw a combat protocol card. Okay, and so that works for all sentinel. Whenever a sentinel is drawn? Yeah. You draw a, one of their protocols, and then they get that special ability. Yeah. But because this is a special one where they show up on the map without spawn cards, they tell you too to take the we have it over there the spawn cards out. Yeah. That's, so when that's we're playing other next. missions, we can just add those into the deck, and then they can randomly show up. Right. That's the, actually the next thing in the special setup. Remove the sentinel cards from the spawn deck. Okay. So for the special rules, when a, a first objective is taken, okay. spawn Sentinel B on the green spawn point. So that's over there. Uh, when a second objective is taken, spawn Sentinel C on the blue spawn point. Okay, that's over there. And Sentinels may only be eliminated for good with a Sonic Pulsar. That says C below. We'll get to okay. that in a sec. If they are eliminated without a Sonic Pulsar... Place them back in their original spawn point during the next end phase. Sentinel A on the first spawn point, Sentinel B on the green, and Sentinel C on the blue. Okay, and then this objective, there's one there, one there. There should be one in... Yeah, it's behind the table. <laughs> oh, it's over? Yeah, you can see it. There, it's behind the table. That one's behind the in car. the car. So, um... For Sonic Pulsar, objectives represent Sonic Pulsars. Each objective gives 5 XP to the superhero who takes it. And superheroes keep the objectives next to their dashboard and may spend one action to take or give an objective to another superhero in their zone. When a superhero with an objective eliminates a sentinel, they may discard it to eliminate that sentinel for good. Okay. When all three sentinels have been eliminated for good, the prime sentinel spawns on the first spawn point, and we can use whichever. Yep. Uh, draw three combat protocol cards for the prime sentinel. It uses all three at the same time, and they are never replaced. Yep, because if in the rules for sentinels at the, I think it's the start of the their phase, I uh, said on a five plus, uh, you draw a new combat protocol for them. Okay. I'll check that once we go back into the game. But Okay. And the Prime Sentinel can only be eliminated with a Sonic Pulsar. Okay. And during the spawn enemy step, for five to six superheroes, during the spawn enemy step of each enemy phase, draw one additional spawn card for the first spawn point. Okay, so we have to remember that. We draw two for the first spawn point each time. Yeah. Okay. So we got the Sentinel set up where they're going to go, and that one's on the board already. So we have to draw a combat protocol for that one. What does that one do? Self-repair. Plus two toughness. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. So their toughness is already four. four. So it has toughness six now. Yeah. When a player hero attacks this sentinel, they may discard up the two trait cards to decrease its toughness by one for each trait card discarded. Okay. And then we'll start the game. So sentinels work like this. So they perform two actions per activation, can attack from one zone away, Attacks against Sentinels must target it exclusively, and at the start of each enemy phase, roll a die for each Sentinel on a 5+, plus, discard their current combat protocol card, and draw a new one. I didn't come up on this because we're not spawning, but if you're playing when it comes from a spawn deck, yeah. if you spawn more than one, one goes on the first spawner, then the second one will go on the second. You never put two on the same spawner. Ah, okay, that's important. And then when you target it, if there was like 10 zombies there on the... Sentinel, you have to choose the Sentinel or the Zombies. Any carryover doesn't go to the other party. So oh, okay. if you do 10 hits on the Sentinel, they all go to the Sentinel. They don't go to whatever else is in the zone. Okay. So you have to choose who you're going to target. Okay, yeah, that's important. 
and it's got four toughness. Points, four toughness. Uh, but this one has six because of its combat protocol we got for it. Yeah. Okay. And my team, I have Sabretooth, Mysterio, and Black Widow. And on my team, I have Black Cat, Craven, and Wasp. So I'm going to activate Mysterio first. Okay. I think we're going to go into the building first to get those objectives and come back to get the ones outside. Sounds good. So his blue is during your turn, you may spend one action and one power to eliminate, oh, to select one zone within range two. Eliminate two walkers or runners there. If there is a brute or zombie hero in that zone, eliminate one additional walker or runner. Okay. That's it. That's his blue ability too. So his power is going to go up to one. And his first action is to open that door. So I have to spawn in that building. We'll do the first spawn first. Oh, I forgot to put the doors in, in between zones. We'll put them there when we open them. Okay. So that spawn and that's one. So the first. Six walkers. And then the next one. Zombie here already. So what zombie hero is it? Rogue. Makes sense he's in there. At the end of her activation, all superheroes in her zone lose all their power. Any superhero with no power to lose suffers one wound. Okay. And then we put them there. Now the bystander. Fix the doors too. Ben Urich. Each time enemies move into a zone with a bystander or another superhero, you may spend one power to perform one free move action. Okay. Because I don't want to go in there with Rogue, because if we end up on uh, two zones away from her, she's going to take our power or do wounds to us. Yeah. I think I'm going to go in through the window now. So Mysterio is going to spend his last two actions to go over to where that Sentinel head is, and his turn will be done. Okay. Because there is windows we can break through, too, for an accent. Right. Zombies can break through those doors, too, for an accent if they want to. Yes. Hasn't happened yet, I don't think, but yeah. Okay. So Sabretooth used his free accents to move to and then... Break open the window to go get that open for the next zone. So what's the bystander in there? Is Amanda Sefton. If enemies spawn within range one before any rush, you may spend one power to move one zone, ignoring enemies. Okay, so I'll grab her. And Sabretooth's blue ability is Claw Frenzy. When attacking with Feral Claws, which is his standard attack, for each roll of six, roll plus one die. These dice generate another dice. Yeah, isn't that kind of like, does Wolverine have something Yeah, a few similar? people have that. Yeah. And his power is at one at the start, too, so he's done. Okay. Ben is going to get devoured by Rogue, unfortunately, because they'll go towards the bystanders and take them, too. Right. So we'll lose a trait and one power, but that's okay. Yeah. Uh, so Black Widow's going to go. Her power goes up to one. Her blue ability is each time you attack with Widow's Bite, which is her normal attack. Okay. You may eliminate one walker or runner in the targeted zone. Nice. Cool. We have a couple of people that have that ability, eliminating people in the next zone, too. Yeah. So she's going to spend two actions to go where Sabretooth and Mysterio is, and then her last action will go to where Amanda Swefton is. Yeah. And she's done. And that's my team. So uh, I'm going to activate Black Cat. Her power goes up to one. Her blue ability is once per enemy phase, when enemies in a zone of your choice within range one would activate, you may spend one power. If you do, before they activate, roll three dice. For each four plus, deal one hit to one enemy in that zone, ignoring target priority. So you can target heroes with that? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. Or brutes. Yep. So for th her three actions, she's going to move where Black Widow is. Okay. And then she'll be done. Well, now I'm going to activate Craven. His power goes up to one. His blue ability is if, there is if there is a zombie hero within range two at the start of your turn, you may perform one free power up action. Hmm. You may reroll any misses when attacking zones containing zombie heroes. Because he's a hunter, right? That's cool. Yeah. And I was going to say, Rogue's not within range two, right? No. No. <laughs> All right. So he's going to move up. To where Black Widow is also for his three activations. Okay. So now I'm going to activate Wasp. Her power goes up to one. For her blue ability, uh, it's you ignore target priority when attacking. Once during your turn, you may eliminate one walker or runner in your zone. Cool. So for her three actions, she's just going to move up with the team where 
uh, Craven and Black Cat and everybody are. Okay. So that's our teams. So now will be the enemy phase. So at the, the Sentinel, was it the start or the end of the enemy phase? Do you do the combat protocol? So for the Sentinel, Sentinels, at the start of each enemy phase, roll a die for each Sentinel. On a 5+, plus, discard their current combat protocol card and draw a new one. Okay, so let's see if that one gets a new one. Because we only got the one right now. Oh. Two. Yeah, that was a two. Okay. So he's still keeping that. He's toughness six. Right. And if we discard heroic traits, then it will go down? Yeah. Okay. Now we'll move everything. Uh, Rogue will go first. So move into the zone with Ben, and then her other action would be to devour Ben. So all superheroes... Lose a power and a trait. So the water fountain's impassable, so the sentinel can't walk over it. Right. So it's moving towards us there, and then the walkers move forward. Yep. So we'll do for the first spawn. we got to draw two spawns for that one. Yes. So uh, only one's coming. Okay, yep. we'll draw for the next one, too. Four walkers. And then green and then blue. So green... Another zombie hero. So who's going there? Miss Marvel. No, let's see. When she activates, if there are bystanders in line of sight, she moves the closest one into her zone. Oh, wow. Okay. And then for the blue one. Another brute rush. Two, Two. this time. Okay, so we'll grab those and then it will be your turn. Yeah. So I'm going to activate Craven now. His power goes up to one. For his first action, he's going to open the door, not the one leading the rogue, the other way. Okay. There's only one spawn in there? Yep. Okay. So, what spawns in that room? Two walkers. Okay, and then the bystander. Thunderbolt Ross. Once during your turn, you may spend one power to push all enemies in your zone into an adjacent zone. Nice. So for his next action, he's going to move into the zone with the walkers. And for his third action, he's going to attack them. So two dice for his spear. And I'm going to use his one power to get another dice. So three dice. Oh, he only gets two dice with his spear? Yep. Okay. So three dice hits on threes. Okay, does it range too, or is it just melee her spear? It's just melee. Okay, so three dice? Yep. Got one. Okay. So Wasp's going to go. Her power goes up to one. For her first action, she's going to move into the zone with Craven. And now, as part of her blue ability, because her blue ability is... You ignore target priority when attacking, and once during your turn, you may eliminate one walker or runner in your zone. Oh, so that's she's for free? Going to, cool. Yeah. So for her second action, she's going to move into the zone with Thunderbolt Ross, and for her third action, she's going to rescue him. Okay, so then your power goes up to full for rescuing a bystander, too? Yep. And are they worth any XP, too? No, it didn't say that. Okay. So I have to worry about Miss Marvel breaking through that window on her turn? Yes. Okay. But she, when she starts, she doesn't have a line of sight of you because the window's not open yet, so she won't drag you into her zone yet. Right. Oh, no, she doesn't drag me. It's only bystanders. What's it, oh, what's it say? It's uh, when she activates, if there are bystanders in line of sight, she moves the closest one, moves the closest one into her Oh, room. I thought it was heroes, too. No, okay. no, it's just bystanders. Oh, okay. Well, because she's trying to eat them, right? Yeah, but I think because the other one had the stretch arms, the, ah, the yeah. hero version when we played against it used to hit us from free zones away. Yes. Okay. So you have Black Cat left? Yes. So her power goes up to one. For her first action, she's going to move into the zone with Craven. And then I was debating if she should pick up the objective. Yeah, might as well. We're going to anyway, right? Yep. So for her second action, she'll pick up the objective. And then that gives you five XP, I believe? Yes. So now that you took that objective... We can kill a sentinel with it. Only Black Cat can right now because he has it. Right. But we got to spawn that sentinel right now on the green one. Okay. And we'll get a combat protocol for that one. So what's... Because as soon as you spawn one, you pick one up. 
This sentinel moves two zones per move action. Ooh, okay. So we'll put that on the board. So he's going to come in and be able to open that window too because they can break through windows too. Right. Because zombies and them can, so I'm pretty sure a sentinel can break through a window. I think so. Okay. Okay, so those are on the board. So Black Cat has one more action. You gonna come down where Wasp is? Cause yeah, she's gonna move. Stuff's coming through that window. Yeah. Oh, that's what I was gonna think too. There's no rules for Sentinels if you play them on the board, because that's in the mansion. There's no rules for them. Like if we were playing the mansion, a uh, mansion, playing a mission in the subway missions, like in the Spider-Man one. Is there rules for height and stuff for sentinels and stuff? Like, how do they... That's a good question. There wasn't anything that we saw in Like, the is the sentinel going to go through? The... He can break the window, obviously. It's a sentinel. But can the sentinel go bust in. through there? Or how, the... how does that work? Yeah. Probably because they didn't want to make it more complicated or something. They didn't do that. Probably. But they can. There's no rule stating they can't go in buildings. Right. So, for her last action, uh, Black Hat's going to move where Wasp is. Okay. And then my team will be done. So... Black Widow's going to go. Her power goes up to one. Her first action, she's going to rescue Sefton. So her power go up to full. Cool. And for her last two actions, because I don't have enough to open the door and get Rogue, she's going to go where Wasp and Black Cat are. Okay. Sabretooth is going to activate. Power goes up to one. Okay. And he's going to spend his free actions to go where the group is too, with Black Cat and Wasp and... Everybody? Everybody. Well, yep. Except Craven? Yep. Except Craven, yep. <laughs> so he's going to go in that zone. All right. Mysterio's going to go. Power goes up to one. And he's going to spend his free actions to go where the group is. Okay. And he's done. So that's both our teams. So now we'll do the enemy phase. So let's do the zombie heroes first. Okay. So Miss Marvel will go. Her first action will be to break the window. All right. And at the start of her turn, she didn't have line of sight. No. Okay. So she broke the window. Now, Black Cat has the ability to. What does that do? Once per enemy phase, when enemies in a zone of your choice within range one would activate, you may spend one power. If you do before they activate, roll three dice for each four plus. Deal one hit to one enemy in that zone, ignoring target priority. Okay. So when she started, you would have done it. But any ability with this comes before. If it doesn't state, you have to have line of sight. Because the window was closed, you didn't have line of sight to them. Right. So you couldn't have done it to her. That's what no. I want to find out. Okay. So for her second action, Miss Marvel will move into that zone because she doesn't have range in the zombie mode one. No. Okay. The other zombie hero, Rogue, will move two to go out the door. Okay. And then we'll do the Sentinels. So that Sentinel can move two zones per move, but they can attack from a zone away, so it's going to hit that zone twice. Okay. It only hits for one damage each, but it's going to hit us twice. Thankfully. So, who's going to take the hits? I'll give one to Sabretooth. I don't think he has a healing factor, but I'll give one to Sabretooth. So, who are you going to give it to? I will give one to Wasp. Okay. And then that Sentinel's done. And then we'll move, the other one will move forward one, and then right at the window two. And then we'll move everything else up and then do spawning. So, two spawns from number one. Another Zombie hero. hero. What do we got this time? Silver Surfer. Gains plus one toughness for each bystander he has devoured to a maximum of plus three. Oh, that's good. So you're going to be toughness seven. Yeah. So we have to draw two for the number one. So next spawn. Two walkers because we're not in yellow. Nope. From a green. All brute overdrive. Move all brutes up to two zones if possible. Any superhero in that zone they enter loses all their power. And from the blue spawn. There's some runners. Two runners. Okay, so we'll make the brutes move up and then put the rest on the board. So now that we have a few in that group, I have to choose if I'm Going to target that the Sentinels or the group, and the group will be the target priority. And nothing carries over either. Right. So, I'm going to activate Black Widow. Okay. Her power is already at full, so... Oh, did anything... What came out of the green spawner? Uh, the Brute Overdrive. Okay. I was going to say, nothing came out because I was... If enemies spawn within range one, I was going to do Amanda's 
sift and stability, but nothing no, spawned. Yeah, something around. moved there, but nothing spawned. Yeah. So Black Cat's going to spend one action to trade Black Cat for the... Black Widow's going to trade action, trade Black Cat. <laughs> Black Cat yep. for the whatever this... What the, what's it called? The Sonic Pulsar. Okay. Because it takes an action to trade for it. Yeah. For her second action, I'm going to attack the Sentinel. And this is all to that Sentinel. It doesn't go to the other one. It's just one target. Yes. Not that I can get eight hits, but it goes to one target. Any carryover won't go to the Brutes. Right. Ooh, so they get a zombie trait too, because that's all she's doing. Oh, but then, no, I want to leave the one over because that other one's going to come in too. Ooh. So she's going to attack and use all her power. So that's four dice. Yeah. And now if I take the zombie trait and then attack, but then she's going to be stuck there with the other stuff coming. Yeah. So, because she traded and then she's going to attack. Okay. So, and then she gets two dice for Widow's Bite. So two more dice. And assassinate. Each time you attack with Widow's Bite, you may eliminate one walker or runner in the targeted zone. There's no walker or runner there? No, it's just brutes, right? Uh, yep. Yeah. So, six dice, hitting on a three, and that's not the plus toughness one, so I need to hit it four times. All right. She did it. So what I got, the plus tough? No. Not no, the right. other one would have been six. Yeah. So, we got a Sentinel down, and cool. we lose that objective because we killed one. And there was four XP. Yep. And Miss Marvel's in there. I don't have enough attacks to deal with her. So, and I can't, ooh, can I? No, it's two dice I would need to hit on a three. I can get a zombie. I'm going to spend an action to get a zombie trait. Okay. Heroic trait because we're not. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Heroic trait. So, inspirational. Discard during your turn, spend one power. Another superhero within range one may immediately perform one free action. Cool. Yeah. Okay. So, she's done. So Sabretooth is going to go. All right. Power goes up to two. I'm going to try to get rid of Miss Marvel. Cool. So for his first action, I'm going to power up. So he's at four. All right. For a second action, I'm going to attack Miss Marvel. Okay. So four dice for his attack. All right. And three dice, oh, four dice for his power and three dice for his claws. Okay. Any sixes generate more dice too. And he normally hits on fours though, right? Yep. So I need three fours. One, two, three. Oh, just enough to get no sixes either. But he got Miss Marvel. Awesome. So I get three XP. Because Sabretooth already has a wound, he's not going to stay there to absorb some from that Sentinel coming. All right. So he's going to move to where Craven is for his last action. Okay. So Mysterio is going to go. His power is going to go up. He's going to get a heroic trait. Determined. Discard during your turn and spend one power. Perform one free attack action. Nice. For a second action, I'm going to power up, so I'm at four power. All right. I don't have ranged, unfortunately, so I can't target those brutes. So for his last action, I'm going to stay there to help absorb any wounds coming or whatever's coming from that spot. All right. And he's done. So I'm going to activate Craven. His power goes up to one. For his first action, he's going to move here. Second action, he's going to open this door. We've already spawned here, so we're good. Yeah. Third action, he's going to go here. Okay. And he's done. He's going to go hunt and try to get rogue, maybe? Yeah. Now I have Wasp. Yeah, no hero was that. His blue, if there was a hero near him, he powers yeah, up. Yeah, it has to do hero. with the zombie hero within range two at the start of his turn. Okay, I already killed Miss Marvel, so you couldn't do that. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to activate Wasp. Her power is already at full, so it can't go up. For her first action, she's going to come out here with this bunch. And then, because she has Thunderbolt Ross, and his ability is once during your turn, you may spend one power to push all enemies in your zone into an adjacent zone. Okay, because you're not targeting it for attacks, you're just targeting it for ability, so you can push them all. And there's no rule stating you can't push Sentinels. No. It's not like Galactus, there's no, he can, I think it's actually says in the rule book that he can't be affected by stuff like that. No, it makes sense. You can't push Galactus, so, but you can push the Sentinels, so. So she's going to use one power. To push... Is it an action or just a power? It says once during your turn, you may spend one power. Okay. Push all enemies in your zone into an adjacent zone. So she's going to push the Sentinel and those Brutes into the zone with the, the hand. So for her second action, because pushing did not take an action, she's going to attack the Brutes. And because of the Sentinel rule that she can 
focus on the attacks on the brute. So I have three dice for her leftover power and two dice for Wop's sting, and it hits on threes. That's five dice, hits on threes. Nice. Oh, but you don't lower the toughest. So you only kill one. That's okay. And you don't get re rolls or anything, right? No. Okay. So we got one brute. Yep. So for her third action, she's going to move back with uh, Black Widow, Mysterio, and Black Cat. So I activated Black Cat. Her power went up to two. And for her three act for her three actions, she moved into the zone with Craven. And that's my team. Okay. So we'll do moving now. So we'll do the Sentinel. So he'll spend one action to move forward by the window. And then he can attack from his own away. So he'll attack that zone again. All right. And then we'll give a hit to Mysterio. Okay. So Silver Surfer and Rogue moved up. Yeah. Because they were the closest ones. And then we'll move everything else and do some spawning. So those were equal distance, so those split. Everything else moved, so we'll do spawning. So number one. Hidden bystander. Spawn one bystander, ignore any two late cards, then draw another spawn card for this zone. Hidden bystanders and enemies ignore each other. Roll a die after each of its activations. On a five plus, the bystander is no longer hidden. So let's see who we got. Bob, agent of Hydra. Before performing a ranged attack, you may spend one power to have enemies suffer minus one Oh, that's going to be good. For yeah. against the Sentinels, for sure. Absolutely. Okay, and then you spawn another spawn for that. For the first zone. Two Walker Rush. Okay. And then another one for that. No, that was for the Hidden Bystander, right? You have to draw another spawn card. So you have to draw another spawn card. All right, so we got to draw three. Okay. So. One Brute. Then from the... Green. One runner. No one's in yellow. Yeah. No, not yet. Black Widow is. I was going to say Scarlet Witch. Black Widow. Yeah. And then the, the blue. blue. Three Walker Rush. Okay. So we'll put those on the board and it'll be your turn. So everything's on board now. We got to see. We're supposed to do it at the start of the enemy phase. So we'll do it now for the. See if his protocol is gone. Nope. Uh, okay, I want to get rid of that plus one toughness. Plus two toughness is rough. Yep. Okay, so then it will be your turn. I'm going to activate Craven, and because of his blue ability, if there are any zombie heroes within range two, at the start of your turn, you may perform one free power-up action. So his power is going to go up by two. And then now at the start of his turn, he gets the normal power goes up by one, so now he's full. So... For his first action, he's going to move into the zone with Rogue. And for his second action, he's going to attack Rogue. So he's got two dice for his spear. And then I'm going to use four of his power to get four more dice. And he hits on a three plus. And because his blue ability, he rerolls against heroes too, right? Yeah, you may reroll any misses when attacking zones containing zombie heroes. Cool. Oh, so even if you're attacking other stuff in the zone with a hero, you still get rerolls. Nice. Yeah. So, hits on threes. You, oh, yeah, she has four toughness, right? She does. So you got her. Awesome. Nice. And she gives you four XP. Yep. So for his last action, Craven backed up. Okay. So I'm going to activate Wasp. Her power goes up to one. And the first thing she's going to do, she's going, because she has range, she's going to attack out into that zone. She's not going to target the Sentinel. So it's going to go after the normal group. Yes. Okay. And because she has a blue ability that ignores target priority, I'm going to try to kill that runner. We don't want that runner following us? No. Okay. So two dice for Wasp Sting. She's going to use her one power to get another dice. And it hits on freeze. Hits on freeze? Yep. Okay. So that's your choice. You can now either kill the brute, because you don't say who you're targeting when you're targeting the group. You do with the scent only, you got to choose. But when you make those two, now you can decide that you're going to give two to the brute or one to the runner. Uh, I think the runner, to be honest. Because how much? The brutes only move one. We can get out of the oh, way. You're gonna, okay, so you're just going to... And then the other extra one will go to the brute, but it doesn't kill him. Yeah. Okay. So for her last two actions, she moved into the hallway. Okay. And she's done? Yep. 
So I'm going to activate Black Cat now. Power goes up to three. She's going to use two actions to move to in front of the store. And then for her last action, she's going to get a heroic trait. Okay. Uh oh. Oh, crap. Spawn one walker in your zone, then draw another trait card. So okay, we'll draw so we... the trait card first. Unstoppable. Discard one attacking and spend one power. Enemy suffer minus one toughness to a minimum of one. Cool. Black Widow's going to go. Power goes up to one. Oh, did they? Did anything? Again, I forgot. That. Too many special rules. Enemies spawn within range one. Did anything come off of that green spawner? Cause, no. Because that was the blue one. I'm just looking at the cards now. The free rush. So the other one. Wait a minute, where did the runners come in? We killed. She killed it. Oh, she killed the runner. Wasp killed it. Okay, so the runner did spawn there. So when enemies spawn within range ones before any rushes, you may spend one to move one zone, ignoring enemies. So I could have spent one. Oh, she didn't have power because I just got one at the start of the turn. Right. Okay. I got to remember that, though, because Black Widow has Sifton. If I spend a power, I get a free move. Right. Okay. Now she's going to go. She's going to spend free actions to get as close to Craven as she can. One, two. Yep, she can get into Craven's zone. Cool. And that's her turn. Sabertooth is going to activate. His power went up to one. He's going to spend two actions to go where Craven and Black Widow are. And then he's going to get a heroic trait. So, heroic trait for Sabretooth. Another ambush. Uh, they were right next to each other. Yep. Agile. Discard when enemies enter your zone. Immediately move one zone, ignoring enemies. Cool. So for two accents, Mysterio is going to go... Sorry. Two? Yep. Okay. And his power is already at four. So I'm going to use my blue ability now. During your turn, you may spend one accent and one power to select one zone... Was in range two, so that zone was that walker is was in range. Yeah. Eliminate two walkers or runners there. If there's a brood or zombie hero in that zone, eliminate one additional walker or runner there. So I'm going to eliminate that one. It costs an action to do that, but I got rid of him. Cool. And that's his turn. That's so everybody. We're kind of playing cat and mouse in the building now. Yeah. So we'll move everything up. Before we do that, because. Black pet, black cat's blue ability. Once per enemy phase, when enemies in a zone of your choice within range run would activate, you may spend one power. If you do, before they activate, roll three dice for each four. Deal one hit to one enemy in that zone, ignoring target. So you're gonna target the one that's gonna hit you first. Yes. Okay. So, so I'm gonna spend one power to roll the three dice. And you need fours. Got it. So it doesn't hit you. Awesome. So that ability worked out. Yeah. And did that push you to yellow too? No, just at six. Oh, right okay. on the line. So, good. You want to take a hit there? And then we'll move everything else up. And that's not the Sentinel that could have killed, killed... Oh, let's roll for that, actually. Five plus, we got to see. <sighs> no, he wants to stay tough. That one's going to be a pain. Yep. So we should keep traits to make him weaker. Right. And then we'll move everything else up now. So now that everything else moved, Sentinel's in the building now. Yeah. Now we got to see if Bob is still hidden. And so it's five plus, I think? Yes. No. So he's still hidden. Now we'll do spawning. So two from number one, where Bob is. So they won't attack Bob because Bob is still hidden. He was going to say Bob's lucky. Yeah. He got eaten. So still no one's in yellow. One brute rush. One runner. Okay. Green's next. Four walker rush. And then blue. Oh, oh rush. a bunch of rushes there. And we don't have anything that triggers off of rushes. Uh, no. Nothing spawned near Black Widow. And you already did your Black Cat ability. Yep, she can only do it once per enemy phase. Okay, and we already, okay, so we'll put those on the board and it will be my turn. Yep. His first action, he's going to go where Craven and Sabertooth's. And Black Widow are. Okay. For his second accent, I'm going to do his Illusionary Foes. During your turn, you can spend one accent and one power to select one zone within range two. So that's the zone right in front of us with the runner and the walkers. Okay. Eliminate two walkers or runners there. 
If there's a brute or zombie hero in that zone, eliminate one additional walker. And also says eliminate two walkers or runners. Can you pick one runner and one walker? Or I was just about they... to say, can you do yeah. one of each? Yeah. <laughs> it's a little loose on the rules there. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to take two walkers, whatever. We'll get someone else to take the runner. But... Okay. Action. Or I can go down there. Oh, no, because if I go down there, that just lacks action. So I can't do determined. So, yeah, he's going to go into the zone where the carpet is in the next zone right next to us for his last action. Okay. Black Widow's going to go. Her power is up to two. She's going to spend two actions to go where Black Cat is. One, two, three. And her last action, she's going to attack that zone with the runner and the walkers. All right. She's going to use her... So it's, each time you attack with Widow's place, you may eliminate one walker or runner in the targeted zone. So I'm going to kill the runner for targeting that zone. And I'm going to use two of my power plus... Two dice for those bite for four dice, hitting on threes to attack those guys. Okay. We've got the rest of them. Nice. So for her last action, now that she's in yellow, she's going to open that door. So we got to spawn and see that bystander. All right. Let's do so the bystander. Spawn first. Nope, you spawn first. I'll spawn first. Okay. It's, it's an order you're supposed to do it. Just in... Multiple man multiplication. So every zone that has a multiple man... Adds another multiple man. And we're in yellow, so it's only one. Okay, so we'll do that. But we'll get the buy. Now we can do the bystander. Jimmy Woo. He shows up a bunch. During your turn, you may spend one power and discard this card to search the heroic trait deck for any one card, then shuffle the deck. Okay. So they all cloned. We haven't used that one in a while. We used them before, and I'm missing you could play multiple man as a character. In oh, game. right, yeah. So... That was Black Widow, and I got Sabretooth left. So his power went up to two, because I'm going to do Sabretooth now. All right. And he's going to spend three actions to go where... Who's that? Jimmy Woo. Jimmy Woo is. And then his turn's done, because he's still in blue. And that's my team. So it's over to you. So I'm going to activate Wasp. Her power goes up to one. She's going to, for her first action, move into the zone with Craven. And then she's, for her second action, she's going to attack the zone in front of her. So two dice for Wasp Sting, and I'm going to use my one power to get another dice, and it hits on threes. Oh, you don't have to worry about adoring priority. You got them. Yep. All three in that zone. Nice. Surprise, we're still in blue this far into the game. I'm gonna... Me so too. We have one. black, And that's because he killed a, a Sentinel. Black Widow's in yellow. Yeah. Craven's even close. But even Black Cat Cra picked up an objective, and she's yeah. not in Taking a bit. Yet. She's right on the line, but... Okay, hopefully next turn. Yep. Yeah. Uh, you got, you moved. I attacked, and I have one activation you, left. You want to go towards Mysterio then? Yes. Yeah, we're trying to get that other objective. Okay. Yes. Yeah, because that Sentinel's coming. Yeah. You can and move I in the building. I want to be in his way. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to activate Craven. His power goes up by one. He's going to move into the zone with Mysterio and Wasp for his first action. For his second action, he's going to power up. You're waiting for Silver Surfer to come at you? Yeah, that would get his power then to three. And for his last action, he's going to get a heroic trait. Cause he's... Stop calling it a zombie trait. It's a heroic trait. <laughs> he... No, he's the one that got rogue, right? Yes. Did he get it? Okay. Resourceful. Discard before attacking, gain plus one range. Which is good, he doesn't have range. You can throw his spear now. Cool. So he's done. So I'm going to activate Black Hat now. Her power goes up to three. For her first action, she's going to move into the zone with Sabretooth. For her second action, she's going to open this door. So there's only one spawn in that room, yeah, I think. it's over here. Yeah, it's behind the, the table. Yeah. And then the bystander. Okay, so who's going to... Uh, what thought who's? Unless it's a... No, in my luck, now that I said that. Okay, nope, not nope, a hero. Just one runner. Okay, that would suck. No, two, because we're in yellow. Oh, right, two. And then the bystander. Senator Kelly. I figured he'd be in this one. Okay. Once during your turn, you may spend one power to select one zone within range two, activate all enemies in that zone. They try to reach your zone by any means available. Okay. So we realized that Senator Kelly was in the wrong spot. Yeah. Jimmy Wu was supposed to be there. And then Senator Kelly is there. Yeah, we fixed him. Okay. And you have one more accent? Yes. So for her last action, Black Cat is going to rescue Jimmy Woo. 
What does he do? Oh, that's the one you can discard. Yeah. During your turn, you may spend a power and discard this card to search the heroic trait deck for any one card, then shuffle the deck. Yeah. So that will be useful to help lowering toughness with the trait cards with the sentinels if we need it too, right? So that's both our teams. So we'll move everything up and then they will be spawning. So everything moved up. So we got to figure out about Bob and so this would be funny. Whoever wrote, we want a five plus for, for the, the Sentinel. Sentinel to change the thing. We don't want a five plus for Bob. Okay. Who are we going to roll for? Oh, it's a start. We'll do the Sentinel first. Yeah. Because it's a start of the enemy phase. It actually has weapons. Damn. Nope. Okay. Now for Bob. Please. It, Nope, same rule. Okay. So he still has his plus two toughness. And now we'll do spawning. Is Bob going to move, though? Even though he's still here? Oh. Uh, he activates before the spawn step. So, yeah. So he's going to move towards the closest hero. So. Yeah, we'll go that left. Yeah. Okay. Now two spawns from that. All walkers. Next activation. Okay. Because we're in yellow now, right? Yep. Right. And then we'll do another spawn off that one, and then we'll move this markers. Lots of them. So same as one. So we'll do that, and then do the other two spawners. All right. So we're saying move. Then we put the clones that they copied. Yep. So from the green spawn. Four, four runners. Yeah, we're in yellow now. And from the blue. We're still good. Okay. So we'll put those on the board, and it will be your turn. Okay, I'm going to activate Craven now. Um, but this is, his blue ability is going to kick in because Silver Surfer is in his zone. So if there's a zombie here within range 2 at the start of your turn, you may perform one free power-up action. Doesn't really need to do it. Yeah, you already have four. Gets four. Okay. So now it's his turn. His power would go up, but it can't because it's already at four. Okay. So... He's going to attack Silver Surfer. What's the card you got over there, too? Discard before attacking, gain plus one range. Ah, oh, okay, you don't. So give me that. So you're going to attack Silver Surfer? Yes, I am. So I'm going to use all my power. So four dice. And then two dice for his spear. And it hits on threes. Mm -hmm. And I can reroll any misses. When attacking zones contain zombie heroes. Okay. And because he has not devoured any bystanders, Silver Surfer's power is only at four. Okay. So we're, yeah, that's good. Okay, anyway. Hits on three. And you can reroll. Any misses. So, the three that missed. Nice. Come on, one more four. Yep. Okay, so four would go to Silver Surfer, and then the other one would carry over to. A walker. A walker. Awesome. Nice. So he's now in yellow, thankfully. So he's going to attack again. Two dice. Hits on threes. That'll be his second action. That's two more. You want to do that again because it's for the so a third action. Third action. Do it again. So free total. Yeah. So his last action, he's just because there's one left. Yep. Gonna have to attack again. Okay. Nice. So I'm going to activate Wasp now. Her power goes up to one. For her first action, she's going to move into the zone with the Sentinel. Then she's going to use that one power that she just got to do Thunderbolt Wasp's ability. Once during your turn, you may spend one power to push all enemies in your zone into an adjacent zone. Okay, so we'll push them into the Walker zone. Yep. And then she's going to use... Her last two actions to move where Black Widow is. Okay. And she's done? Yep. Okay. So I got Black Cat left. Her power's at four, so it can't go up anymore. She's going to move into the zone with Senator Kelly and the runners for one. And then for her second action, she's going to attack. So she has three dice for her martial arts attack. And then I'm going to use two power... To get two more dice, and she hits on fours. Nice, yeah, just enough to kill the two runners. Awesome. So I decided to 
uh, do what the ability that was on Jimmy Woo's card. So I discarded his card, spent one power to search the hero trait deck. I picked focus, which is discard when attacking, add plus one to dice results, and ignore target priority for this attack. Okay. So I did that with Jimmy Woo. And you're in yellow now, so you have two more actions, right? Yes. Okay. So for my third action, I'm going to rescue Senator Kelly. Okay, and then your power will go up to full. Yep. And he gives you taunt, right? You spend the power and they yep. come towards you? Yes. Cool. Within range two. Okay. And your last action? Um, I already have two hero traits that I like. Um, are we going to try to go out the window? What do you think? Oh, oh but if when you pick up that objective, he's going to be... Coming through that door, yeah? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to move back back into the zone where Sabretooth is for my last action. Because Sabretooth is going to go there. And you have traits. It's up to you if we're going to come back out that door where you're going to have to... I think maybe we will. That's a, Are we going to go back out through that window, but then we're by a spawner? Or are we going to work our way back and come up this door, and then we have to go back and get those objectives? Well, where Sabretooth is right now, there's also a window. Oh, we can do that too. Yeah, okay. So you're going to come up there? Yeah. That's a, probably a safer way to get out. I'll bring Sabretooth over there to get the objective, though. Yes. Okay, so that's your team? Yes, it is. Okay, so Sabretooth is going to go, Parrot's at three, he's going to spend two actions to go where the objective is, over there by the fireplace. Two. For his third action, he's going to pick up that objective. He is in yellow now. Okay. So for his last action, he's going to move over to the next zone towards Black Cat. And because we picked up our next objective, the last sentinel... The Ordinary Sentinel is going to come on at uh, the blue spawn point. Okay. And that's the Nana Sentinel. You can use that as uh, Hero 2 once you because it's oh, reprogrammed right. by, I believe, Spider-Man reprograms it. So you can use it in Hero games too. Right. Cool. Okay. We got to do Combat Protocol? Yep. So for that one, what's that one have? Suppress. All player heroes within range 1 lose their yellow plus 1 action skill, oh. cannot use trait cards, and cannot use bystander abilities. Oh, wow. That sucks. Okay. So that's on. Sabretooth is done. So Black Widow is going to go. Okay. Power is up to one. I'm going to use Inspirational Discard during your turn and spend one power. Another superhero within range one may immediately perform one free action. I want to get Craven out of the way of that Sentinel coming. And he's within range one, so I'm going to do that. Cool. Thank you. And Craven just moved over to where we are. So, for her first action, I'm going to move down one zone towards the walkers. For her second action, I'm going to attack that zone with the walkers. All right. So, she gets two dice, hitting on freeze. Each time you attack with Widow's Bite, you may eliminate one walker or run her in the zone. So, I automatically get a kill on there. And two dice hitting on a free. Got one more. For her third action, she's going to do that again. So that's each time, so I'd kill another walker for free. So two dice hitting on three. One more. For her last action, she's going to do that again, so I kill a walker for free. Try to get that last one. Got it. Mysterious going to go. Okay. Power's up at four now. For his first action, he's going to move down the stairs towards his own by the door. For his second action, I'm going to do Illusionary Foes. During your turn, you may spend an action and one power to select one zone within range two. So that zone out the door. Eliminate two walkers or runners there. If there's a brute or zombie hero in that zone, eliminate one additional walker or runner. So there is a brute there, so I get to kill three guys. Nice. For one action and one power. That's cool. pretty good. Yeah. He's still at six, though. He's not in yellow yet. Uh. So he has one more action. And he's going to move over to where Black Widow is. And he's done. So that's both our teams. Yep. And we'll do the enemy phase. So we'll do the Sentinel Protocol now. All right. So for the one that has the toughness one. Nope, still has it. Uh. And then Nana's one. Nope, still has that. So no one's changed their protocols. And now we'll do the moving. So everything moved up. The Sentinels are coming into the building. Yeah. I'm worried about the one that has free... Protocols when we kill those two, that's gonna be rough. Me too. 
So we got to roll for Bob now, see if he's hidden. He still is, so he'll move up one. And then we'll do spawning. So two at number one. We're in yellow now, so six. Okay. Zombie hero. He's coming down there. Kingpin. What's he do? He is last in target priority when he spawns. Also spawn two brutes in his in his zone. Brutes within range one of him have plus one toughness. Oh, uh, I think he came up when he came up in the subway before. So he has bodyguards that are toughness three. Yeah. All brutes too, so we got to be careful about that. Yeah. Okay, so now the green spawn. Walker rush. Six. Six. Okay, we should have enough. And then the blue. Another hidden bystander. So what's one? Two, we ignore two late cards, so. Yes. Yeah. Out of the way. Striker. <laughs> That's funny. Once during your turn, you may spend one power to select a zone within range one. Move any bystander and superhero from that zone into your zone, ignoring enemies. So you'd spawn another spawn for where he came from, too? Yep. Three runners. Okay. So we'll put those on the board, and it will be... Your turn. Yep. So Kingpin came in with his bodyguards. Everything else is spawned up there. And it's my turn. So Sabertooth is going to go. His power is now at four. He is going to spend one, two, three actions to get where the Sentinel is. I'm going to attack that Sentinel. I'm going to discard my trait card to lower his toughness down to five now because he is two plus it. Two to his toughness. If I discard Agile, he's at five. Okay. So I'm going to discard... Agile, so he's at toughness five now. All right. And now I'm going to try to attack him. Okay. So I get four dice. I'm going to use four power. So I get four dice. And then his claws have three attacks. Any sixes, I get plus one more die. Okay. And those sixes can generate other ones. So hopefully this is a long shot for this one. We'll see. I need to get five fours. <laughs> there you go. Come on, save it here. Oh, that was a good roll. Ooh. Oh, there's three sixes. There is. So that killed him outright anyway. One, two, three, four. Oh, no, it didn't. That's four hits. Yeah. Okay. So take the three misses out, and you get... I don't get to re-roll any, but sixes generate more dice. So he has hit on fours, right? So it's still six. Okay. Yeah. And then I got three sixes, so we got three more dice. Come on, one more four. Nice. You just got it. Lucky I lowered the toughness. Yay. So Sabertooth discards the objective, and he kills that Sentinel. Awesome. Nice. So it looks like the, he's trying to pet his face or something. <laughs> yep, all in the face. So we're going to use the same effect as our house where we've been doing that. The toughness that you beat a hero or whatever it is is what the experience you get. Normally you would get 4 XP, but you kill them at toughness 5, so we get 5 XP. It works both ways. Yep. Right? So... We got 5 XP for that. Normally, we would get 4. If you're playing the standard rules, you would get 4. But he beat someone tougher, so we'll get 5. All right. And he's done. So now we got to go outside to get those other objectives. Yeah. So power for Mysterio. I'm going to activate him. Goes up to 4. All right. I'm going to use his Illusionary Foes ability again. So I can... During your turn, you may spend 1 action and 1 power. I'm going to do that. Select the zone within range 2. That's the one in front of me. All right. And eliminate two walkers or runners there. So I'm going to do the walkers. Okay. And then if there's a brute or zombie hero in that zone, eliminate one additional walker or runner. There I'll do the runner because remember we said before about the two that came up? Yeah. So two walkers first. And because there's a brute, I'll kill additional runner. And there's no limit. It says during your turn. It'll say once during your turn because it's clear they say that with certain abilities. Yeah. So during your turn, you can spend one action. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to spend one power and an action. So I've done two things so far. We can see we eliminate two walkers or runners there. If there's a brute, you can do another one. But there's only two walkers there, so I'll kill those two. Awesome. I can't kill brutes with that ability. So, so for a third action, I'm going to go into the zone with the brutes. 
And for his force action, I'll just attack hand to hand ability, two dice, hit it on a four. Right. And I'm going to waste the last two of my power to get two more dice. Awesome. Fours. Ah, uh, he's Dude. tired. So he's done. So Black Widow's gonna go, her power's at one. She's gonna power up for her second action. She's gonna move in the zone with Mysterio for her third action. And for her fourth action, I'm gonna attack that zone. Uh, Widow's Bites only kills a walker or a runner, so I can't attack anyone there. All right. But I'm gonna use her free power, plus her two dice for Widow's Bite to attack that zone, hitting on freeze. Oh, I think it, so I killed one brute. So I'm going to activate Black Cat now. Her power's already at four, so it can't go up anymore. She's going to spend three actions to get into the zone with Mysterio and Black Widow. One, two, three. So I'm going to use three of my power to get three more dice. And have three dice for her attack, so six dice hits on force. And you're gonna attack the brute? Yeah. Got him. Just got it too, because you hit on fours, right? Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna activate Wasp now. Her power goes up to one. She's gonna move over here for her first action. For her second action, she's gonna use Wasp Sting to attack that zone full of walkers. So two dice for wasp sting, one dice for her one power. And because of her blue ability, once during your turn you may eliminate one walker or run oh it's in your zone. Never mind, right. I can't use it. So three dice, hits on threes. Hits on threes. Got two. Nice. So she's finally in yellow now. So she's going to attack one more time for her third action. Only two dice this time. Hits on threes. Got one more. Nice. So for her last action, I moved her into the zone with Black Cat and everybody else. And she's done. So I'm going to activate Craven now. His power goes up to one. For his first action, he's going to move into the zone with Sabretooth. And then he's going to discard Resourceful, the hero trait that he had, which is discard before attacking, gain plus one range. So now he's going to attack the walkers that are in the other zone. So he's going to use his one power to get another dice. And then two dice for his spear, and it hits on threes. Got two. So for his third action, he's going to get a heroic trait. Guardian, discard when enemies move into a zone within range two, containing a bystander or superhero, move into that zone, ignoring enemies. Nice. Oh, that's going to come in handy when those runners come into our zone. Yep. Cool. And your last action? And he's going to power up. Okay. So he's done. Okay, those are our teams. So we'll do moving. So first off, we move the Nana Sentinel, and they were equal distance free between each one, but he would have had to spend an action to break through the window, so it was actually four actions. So he went this way. Yeah. Blocking our pass. Okay. Makes sense. Uh, but we got to roll for his protocol. Well, we finally changed one. So the one he had is gone. Awesome. That's so we good. won't lose our plus. Oh, I totally that would have sucked right in front of us losing our yep. plus one action. Okay, so. Well, hopefully this isn't worse. What's this? If do? this sentinel zone is attacked, but is it is not eliminated, the attacking player hero suffers one wound. Oh crap! Okay. Whenever another sentinel is attacked, this sentinel performs one move action. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's this is pretty... getting a little scary. Yeah, <laughs> pretty cool. We have the first time playing against them, right? Yeah. So we'll move everything up, and then also do triggers for stuff that's moving. So that one zone moved up, the runners moved into our zone, and you're going to discard Guardian with Craven? Yes. Discard when enemies move into a zone within range 2, containing a bystander or superhero, move into that zone, ignoring enemies. Okay. So everything moved. We have a lot in front of the door now. We do. Some in our zone. Lucky you have that push with Wasp that you can do, right? Yep. Okay. 
So we'll roll now for the hidden bystanders. So Bob first. Nope, he's good. Then striker. Oh, five. So he's not hidden now. No. Oh, and he's right on that spawner too. But they'll move up. So Bob's hidden, but striker's not. So striker's going to get eaten. <laughs> okay, so now we'll do spawning. So number one, two. Extra. Don't be heroes. We don't have any. Yep. What do you mean? Oh, sorry. Kingpin, I forgot. Okay, so he'll go. We'll do that now. One, two. So we'll be up. One, two. Oh, uh, what's his rule? Is it within one? He's last target priority when he spawns. Also spawn two brutes in the zone. Brutes within range one of him have plus one toughness. So that and zone has brutes. Their toughness. Oh, that's going to suck. Yeah. Okay. So, and oh, you're going first, right? Yeah. Okay, that comes in handy. Okay, so the last one on number one. I was talking about brutes. Uh, no one's in orange yet. Nope. Okay, so three. Then from the green. Extra. Oh, oh that's bad. <laughs> oh, crap. Okay, put it down. We already did our. Oh, what? No, uh, Black Cat's ability. Is Once per enemy phase, when enemies in a zone of your choice within range one would activate, okay. you may spend one power. It is activate. It's not spawn. No, it's activate. Okay. If you do before they activate, roll three dice for each four, deal one hit to one enemy in that zone, ignoring target. So power. that might save us. because it's not, I said it was spawn, but it's activate. Because extra activation is obviously an activation. It's an activate. Yeah. So those, how many are in there? Four? Ooh, that's eight attacks. Yeah. Okay. So you want to roll your free dice? All fours. That's what we need. All fours. One four. Oh. oh, it changed it from eight attacks to six. Yeah. So you get an XP and you killed one. And you had to spend the power to do that, right? Yes. Now, we don't have any tanks on our team. And everyone is in that zone except Sabretooth. Yeah. So we got to see about... We'll distribute the wounds now. So six wounds. So we distributed our six wounds because of the extra activation. And Black Widow's at one. Mysterio's at two. Black Cat's at two. Wasp is at one. And Craven is at one. That's bad. Yeah. We have no one that can heal, too. No. Nope. Okay. So that was from the green spawn. Yeah. So the blue spawn. <laughs> zombie. Speaking of zombie heroes. So who comes out? Uh oh. Oh, he's by the X. Makes sense. What's this do? A success successful attack only eliminates him. If another superhero oh, that's in come up zone before. spends two power. Oh, that sucks. Okay, so we'll grab him too. So we'll put those on the board and it'll be your turn. Yeah. Lucky you killed those with Black Cat's ability because that would have been two more wounds. And we might have dropped one. Yeah, we would have been done. Okay, so that's everything. We might have to get Wasp out there to push stuff off. Yeah. Okay. Well, I didn't see. We did the ones in our zone, but there's also... Is there only three there? I think yeah, so. I There's three in that zone, so they would have activated. Yes. So when something moves, it moves towards the closest superhero or bystander. They're both equal distance. Yeah. Depends how we strikers. play this. Because there's four heroes in there. So that's, we don't use noise in this game, but it's more of a target to get the heroes. But it doesn't state which has more heroes. It's just to the closest hero or bystander. Yeah. And Striker is revealed now because he got revealed after everybody moved. Before the spawn. Yeah. And so he's seen. Yeah. So when it's equal distance, does it split? So I'll say we'll play it that way. And it's been a bit of a long game, too, anyway. So two would move into our zone. One will go to Striker. The one that moves to Striker is obviously going to kill him, too. Yes. So Striker going down means everybody would lose a power. Yep. I lost one off. Black Widow. And I lost one off Craven. Everybody, Everybody would lose one trait, so I lost my Determined, and now that's going to put a hindrance on us killing the Sentinel. Yeah. I'll lose. Focused. Okay. So that, that was Striker getting killed. Then, those two runners that came into ours is going to have two more actions to do two more wounds. Uh, Mysterio can take one of those, so he's at one. Everybody else in that zone is at one. No, Black no, Cat's Black at Cat so Black. So everybody's at one. We survived that. Yes, but that's pretty rough. Okay. Then we'll move. Do the. We already did all the movings and spawning, right? Yes. Okay, so it's your turn now. Yeah. Okay. So I'm gonna activate Black Cat. Her power goes up. 
to one, and I'm going to attack in that zone. Uh, because I only got that one power, I'm thinking, feel like I should save it just in case I need it for my blue ability later. Okay. So I'm only going to do attack with three dice, and it hits on fours. Nice, you got two runners. So for her second action, Black Cat's going to attack again in that zone. Three dice hits on fours. Nice, two more. So for her third action, she'll do that again, hopefully clearing up that last one. Nice. So for my last action, I'm going to move out of the building into... The horde of zombies out there? With... Yeah, because we have to. We can't run around the house all day. No. And so... Wasp is going to come up and push, so we'll see what we're going to do. Yep. So I'm going to activate Wasp now. Her power goes up to one. For her first action, she's going to move out into the zone with Black Cat. So for her second action... She's going to attack, because she has range, zero to one, she's going to attack this runner. Part of that is because the protocol from the Sentinel, that if the Sentinel zone is attacked but it is not eliminated, the attacking player hero suffers one wound. So if I attack in that zone, I'm going to die. Yeah, because if you don't target the Sentinel, so kill that. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, so I'm going to attack that walker, and I'm not using my power because I need it. Okay. So it's two yeah, dice. No, use your power to kill it and then realize you can't. You could power up, but yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's two dice, hits on threes. Okay. Got it. Nice. And yeah, Bob is still hidden over there. He's good. <laughs> yeah. Now you'll spend your power to push those over towards Bob? Yes. <laughs> Poor Bob. He's hidden. He'll be fine. Okay. Till the... Dead Sentinel falls on top of him. Yep. So, so you have two more actions? I do. All right. So for Wasp's third action, she's going to go here. And then she's going to use the Sentinel Hand Plasma Blast to try to shoot at that Sentinel. Yeah, because the Sentinel is going to try to get us anyway. Yes. So okay. The Hand Plasma Blast, zero to two. Each hit counts as two hits against a single enemy. Flip the token to its spent side after this attack. Okay. So it's three dice and it hits on threes. Okay. And you want hits here because you need... Two hits would do four hits on him and it would kill him. Yeah. But he would go... Because we don't have an objective, he would go back to the starting point, which is on the blue spawner. Yeah. Okay. Oh, <laughs> it's, too, it's too big for Wasp. Maybe she was in tiny form. Yeah. Okay. It's worth a try, though. So each hit only scored two. Oh, okay. And we would have, we were target. we're not going to say we were targeting the, you were targeting the Sentinel. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because if you didn't, he would attack. Yeah. Okay. But it gets spent, it gets flipped over. All right. So I'm going to activate Craven now. His power goes up to two. His blue ability does a trigger because you have dropped. to have line of sight. Yeah, it's, well, it says within range two at the start of your turn. He's not. He is uh, well, He is within two, but he's not in line of sight for it. Yes. You have to be line of sight for the ability. Right. Even though if it doesn't say, it's still it states in the book. If you don't have line of sight, you can't do it. Well, it makes sense if he's outside the building. Even if he's within range two, he can't do it, right? So, okay. For his first action, he's going to come out here. Second action... Into the zone with Kingpin. And third action, we're going to attack him. So, two dice for his spear. He's going to use his two power to get two more dice. Uh, what's the toughness of Kingpin 2? Three. You could have powered up for your fourth thing and get two more dice. Okay, so we'll do that. So power up for the fourth to get two more dice. Well, it would have been your third. The fourth would have been to attack. Yes. Hits on threes. And I can reroll any misses when attacking zones containing zombie heroes. You, I don't you, need to. you could reroll the two if you wanted to, it's but just... <laughs> you super killed it. Yes. Okay. And you get free XP for that. 
So that gets you into orange now, right? It does. What's and that do? His orange ability. Whenever a zombie hero spawns, you may perform one free move action. That's cool. If there's a zombie hero within range two at the start of your turn, you may perform plus one action. That's cool. Yeah. So he's really he kills zombie heroes. <laughs> to hunt zombie heroes, which is cool. Okay. So that's my that's my team. Okay. So I thought she was far enough that she couldn't get targeted, but the protocol for the Sentinel... It's just, if this Sentinel zone is attacked, but it is not eliminated, the attacking player hero suffers one wound. And Wasp only has one wound left? She does. Okay, so, so he reflected the beam back at her and she's toast? And she's toast. And now she's zombie Wasp? Yep. <laughs> Okay, so well, she does pretty. She's done pretty good for. Well, she was wasp. MVP in zombie wasp. Yeah. Zombie wasp. Zombie wasp yeah. was MVP when we played her. This one, uh, maybe because we didn't push her too much. She wasn't. She didn't get as good as the one that we played in no, zombie mode. But that's okay. So she's down. Okay. So now that wasp is done, if you're playing by standard rules, the game's done because you lost a hero. Yes. We usually play out that we continue playing because we want to see what happens or we don't want to keep playing the same mission. Yeah. But if we play it out, even if I bring down Mysterio and it's not an attack if I do his full sing on that zone or if I keep going, we could do that. Sabertooth can come out and try to help Black Cat, but that Sentinel is going to shoot twice. Sabertooth can absorb a wound, but the other one's going to hit Black Cat and kill her. Yeah. So now we've already down two heroes. Yeah. So that's pretty rough already because the other Super Sentinel is going to come down. Yeah, we haven't even got to the Super yeah. Sentinel yet. I don't know if anyone's 3D printed like Nimrod or Master... Like the, I forget. I think it was Mastermind in the, the Huge Sentinel. That'd be really Sentinel. cool. Yeah. But, yeah. So that would be pretty rough because we'd still have to go down here. That was the plan to get it. Then the other Super Sentinel would come down. We still have to go back there to get that objective. Yeah. And there's protocols left because we're going to call it... Look at the protocols. All right. So we looked off screen a second ago, but yeah, the... What's left... This sentinel can attack from range two. When this sentinel attacks, all player heroes in the zo targeted zone suffer one wound each. So that would mess up. We're that all at one wound. Anyway. If the super sentinel came down and hit us with that, we're toes. Yeah, and then restrain. Zombie heroes ending their turn within range one of this sentinel increase their hunger by one. Superheroes beginning their turn within range one of this sentinel, sentinel lose one power. And he would have had one more too. Yeah. We would stuff with it because we ran out of protocols. Yeah, but, uh pretty... Yeah, so we'll call it there because it's already been a longer video. I think it'd probably be another 40 minutes or so if we played it out as well. Yeah. So we'll call it now. It was a tough mission. That was tough. I don't know if it would have been better if we would have went outside first or inside. I don't know. Well, and we we had some guys that had some really cool abilities, but the, we needed something that was like big heavy hitting. Like we needed Hulk or something. To, that could hit heavy hit with thunderclap. Or yeah, or like uh, or be able to tank wounds or something too. Yeah, absolutely. Something somebody that could heal. We were talking about that as we were taking wounds. There's oh well, well some of them can gain wounds. No one can heal. I haven't seen anyone with medic yet. Oh, Someone that, that can, can heal any, somebody else, but they can heal themselves. Yeah, right. Yeah. I haven't come across a hero that does it at all that can heal other mm -hmm. heroes. No, no, I don't think so. Yeah, but Craven was pretty cool killing heroes too. Yeah, Craven did definitely. <laughs> did he kill every hero? I Pretty think so. Well he, the who's the ones that have? Did he kill all four? I know he killed Rogue Kingpin. I don't know. I forget who got Silver Surfer. And then I think Ms. he Marvel. killed Silver Surfer. I'm not sure about Miss Marvel. Yeah. But yeah, that was awesome. Yeah. Now, in the future games we'll play, we'll bring this. We'll put the Sentinels spawn card. They're over there by the Fantastic Box. There's yeah. two of them. You just add it to your spawn deck, and if they show up, they show up in your mission. With yeah, the protocol pretty, cards too. The protocol cards are pretty great. Yeah, that's what makes them. Without the, if you're gonna, if you want to try them out and be a little bit easy, take the protocol cards off. Yeah. They're an easier target. They're toughness four, and they can shoot from range. But if you want to play it standard mode and a little bit harder, those protocol cards make them tough. Absolutely. Because even going through it all, we would still have to get the other objectives. We haven't even got to the prime yet. Yeah. And he gets three, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. But the next mission in the story, you, I think you have to. Is it Striker or Trask? You have to save Trask or something. And it, this one was rated hard. The next one's rated medium. So it might be a little bit easier. Okay. Okay. So thanks for coming out. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see you next time. See ya.